Hi, my name is Chastity Simpson, and I develop an interest in data analysis through my experience in education and healthcare. As an educator, I was introduced to data analysis when reviewing student assessment data. Although being an educator had its rewards, I felt that working with IT was what I enjoyed more. I knew that being in education would limit my career growth opportunities, which is why I went into healthcare, starting as a customer service representative. There, I've had opportunities to be a part of projects that allowed me to perform data analysis, to implement processes, to improve the business relationship and the customer's experience. I develop a great interest in becoming a business analysis or analyst or project manager. Um, so after exploring Savvy Coders Data Analytics Python program and also attending their orientation, I knew that it was the perfect opportunity for me to learn the skills needed to reach my goals. For my capstone project, my presentation is on a data analytics of the Net Promoter Score, which is the NPS. Through my research and code, I answer the questions, how does a Net Promoter Score measure customer satisfaction? To complete my capstone, I use technology such as Python, Excel, and Tableau. I will now present my presentation. So NPS measuring customer satisfaction. A little bit about me. Once again, I uh, my past experience and in intro to data analytics was in education. Um, I reviewed assessment data uh, for students' um, progress in, in their education goals. Um, also in healthcare, uh, to mend the business relationship with the customers, I was put on projects to uh, work with the NPS, as a matter of fact. So because I enjoyed data analysis so much, um, I think that that would be the best path for me to go. So I would love to be in a role um, as a business analyst or a project manager. My question again, just a, just a reminder, how does a net promoter score measure customer satisfaction? The systems that I use to complete my research was um, Jira. Um, that was the start of um, our system used for agile implementing. Uh, my team and I used Jira to track our progress throughout our cohort. For my capstone, I broke down my project into increments, reflected, and also made updates to my code as needed. Excel, I imported the NPS financial data set from Kaggle. I cleaned and organized that data to where I can use it in my presentation today. And Python, um, I created a random data set for the purpose of displaying the code for the NPS because I was having some issues with the system. And I believe it was because of the size of the data set that was imported from, uh, that, that I was trying to import from Kaggle. And last but not least, Tableau I used to create the graphs from Kaggle's data set. And I also, uh, for to present the screenshots of the code that was used in Python, Python to uh, answer my questions. Now let's review what the, the NPS is. What is the net, promo, net Promoter Score? The Net Promoter Score is a benchmark tool used to measure customer experience and predict, predict, uh, predicts business growth. Why are businesses choosing to use the NPS? Well, the NPS is based on a two-minute survey that is used uh, for the following reasons to obtain feedback on customer loyalty and to measure customer satisfaction, to allow businesses to know if their customers are willing to recommend their service to family members or acquaintance uh, to help the business to expand. Um, they're also to implement changes to improve their business processes. And studies have shown um, that there is a strong correlation between high net promoter scores and revenue. Now I'm going to move on to my first graph uh, based off of the Kaggle data set that I was uh, I cleaned. This first data set is uh, broken out, broken down into two, well actually three different um, markets. It's the U.S. market, the Ukraine market, and Mexico. Here you can see 
in the royal blue color, the Mexico market. And the turt, like, I guess the mint color will be the U.S. market. And then the dark blue will be the Ukraine. So as you can see, the survey, this is based on all of the surveys that were com completed throughout the four quarters. So between the first and the second quarter, it kind of dropped in all quarters just a little bit. And then it, it kind of went up a little bit more uh, when it came to the third quarter. But for whatever reason, uh, when that, that fourth quarter came in, some of those surveys, uh, I guess the customers decided that they didn't want to complete the surveys. Not really sure what happened there, but there was a, a drop there. Okay. Now, I'm going to move on to answering the questions. I'm going to explain what the NPS is and how to calculate that score. Um, the NPS, <clears throat> when used um, on, the, on the survey, the question that is most um, recognized is on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, how likely are you to recommend our business? That is the power question. Why? Because high NPS predicts business growth and revenue. Now, um, it is broken down by the numbers. The highest is 10, of course, as mentioned, and the lowest is a zero. So from zero to six, this is a detractor's uh, scores, detractor scores, meaning that they may damage a business brand. There's a lot of complaints. Um, there's complaints uh, through word of mouth, et cetera, more price sensitive. So this can really impact the business growth. Now the passives are sevens and eights. If they rate on the survey a seven or eight, these scores are typically not counted. Um, this is pretty much saying that the customers are fairly satisfied, but not loyal. Um, they won't damage your, bi your business or help it. Um, so that's why they're not counted. Now the, the aim is the nine and the tens on these surveys. This means that this is our loyal customers. This is the high retention and satisfied customers and they will refer our company. So those are the comp those are the uh, scores that we're aiming for on these NPS surveys. Now the formula for calculating calculating the NPS is the percentage of the promoters, which is the nine and the tens, minus the percentage of the detractors, which is the zero through six. That score is going to give us our net promoter score. Now the full range of scores for the net promoter is a negative 100 to a positive 100. So of course, in an ideal world, they would love to have 100% on their surveys. However, it doesn't work like that. Not always. Um, in a normal range, it's a negative 20 to a positive 30. And this is comparative to, in, to the industry. A good NPS score is a 25 to 50. And this is dependent on the industry. And of course, the great outstanding NPS is above 50. So that is what they're aiming. Just remember that the full range is negative 100 to a positive 100. We're going to move on to another graph. Now, this graph here is. Um, one that I pulled from also the Kaggle um, data set. I, this is the one that I organized through Excel. And um, I just organized it by the region. So I wanted to do, I just wanted to use the scores from the US. So what I did was show what scores um, were in inputted by the, the uh, customer itself. So the customer, as you can see in green, anything above nine is going to be in green. So these are our loyal customers. These are the ones who are going to recommend our business. Now, anything in red is a dissatisfied customer. They are, this is, or possibly um, maybe they didn't get something, I guess a service uh, completed, um, first call resolution. They were not satisfied with the the um, experience that they had, so they left a, a survey. 
the lowest is uh, a one. And then you also see the blank spaces here. Now, for whatever reason, we have blank a zero. So they either opted to take the survey and maybe change their mind midway, or maybe there was some type of technical issue where the survey dropped. So that happens a lot too. So this is just a, a, a graph of sh pretty much showing the, the different surveys, the survey scores that you can get. All right, now let's move on. Now we're moving on to the Python code that I created. So what I wanted to do is just pretty much create a random data set with the survey scores. I just wanted to show that it could just give different possible answers. Um, so what I use as for the, um, the promoters, I wanted to use maybe 10 numbers. So that's what, that's what you see here. The nines and the tens are the promoters. And then you also see the passives, which is which is which are the seven and seven and nines, or the seven and eights, really. The seven and eights are the passives. And then also you can see where the zero through seven is what we use for the um, detractors. Okay. And that's the bottom list here. So what I wanted to do is just, you know, just play with the code a little bit. Um, I list the, the question. I wanted to remove the random uh, number of columns for the, the country and the customer type. Um, so I just list the customer country type. On this here, I have a function to assign um, a random country, I mean, well, a random number uh, for a member and a random number for a provider. So a one would be for customer number one, and that's gonna be the provider. And a two would be for customer number two, of course, and that is for the member. Moving on to the next code. Here, I wanted to change my heading my question here, how likely will you recommend our business to actual column? So what I did here was organize my data frame to display the survey question and as well as the score. So even though the score was on the other one, I wanted to just have a separate column for both of those. So that's what I did there. And also I did a category, well, I, I categorized e each, um, each section of the uh, NPS, the promoter, the passive detractors. So I use a, a um, defined function for that. So here you can see where it's breaking down. It gives me the NPS category. So that's what I added to my data set, the category. All right, moving on to the next one. Now <clears throat> to calculate the, uh, the, the NPS, I use a code, I imported pandas, of course, and I use also the lambda code um, to calculate the sum for promoters minus the sum of detractors to come up with our NPS. And here, because our list was so, so small, um, we have a very small NPS score for each. So we have a zero for the providers and we have a three for the members. So although we have a zero here, it's still a positive score. It's, it's better than a negative 100. So anything above a negative 100 is a good score. So zero and three is a good score. However, we do wanna see growth. Um, so these scores would be taken to implement changes with, throughout a company. And this is why they calculate, this is why they use the NPS to measure customer service back. They wanna see if their customers are loyal if they're gonna recommend their business, and if there is potential need to improve their business functions uh, throughout their company, um, just to you know improve their, um, I guess their services. Alrighty, and that is the end of my presentation.
I want to thank Savvy Coders for their time, their commitment, their support, their dedication. And I also want to thank them for making this a positive learning experience. And thank you for, for all of you who are viewing my presentation. Thank you. Bye-bye.